Hey everyone, welcome back with another lecture of how to calculate measurement uncertainty in microbiological lab. And now is a fast overview of uncertainty components. What are the uncertainty components in microbiological lab? First one is technical uncertainty. As I explained in the previous lecture that contribution of each input quantity in microbiological methods cannot be easily quantified. But you can use top-down approach to calculate uncertainty in which the most input quantities will be estimated using standard deviation of reproducibility by analysis replicate analysis of samples in different or in long time scale using different analysts in different days and you will calculate standard deviation of reproducibility in technical uncertainty arises from operational variability any variation during the whole measurement process in long time time scale and expressed as sta expressed by standard deviation of reproducibility of the final result of measurement not at every individual stage and the second one which is very important matrix uncertainty and that will be from imperfect mixing of the sample imperfect mixing of the lab sample when you will prepare test portions from the lab samples these portions to be analyzed, all of them will be totally different because the sample not homogenized well. And that will result in, as I said, poor reproducibility of microbial levels between test portions, which can be large for solid matrices, especially for composite food products. So results will be totally different between test portions. When you will prepare test portions from the lab sample to be analyzed for your validation or verification, you will not get the same results. All results will be totally different because the sample not homogenized well of the same, same sample if the sample not homogenized well you will face this problem and matrix uncertainty should be estimated for each kind of matrix because homogenization is a high source of uncertainty in microbiological analysis so when you will make your validation or verification or uncertainty calculation you will make reproducibility as I said in technical uncertainty and if test portions of the lab sample not homogenized well you will find at the end that reproducibility is not same results are not same and there, there is a large variability between each result and that also if you notice that matrix uncertainty will be included in reproducibility so it will be included in technical uncertainty and also microbiological measurements often depend on counting or detecting a quite small number of organisms that are randomly distributed in the sample and that will lead to variability between replicates when you take test portions from the lab sample these portions will not have the same number of microorganisms because microorganisms are randomly distributed in this sample and that will lead to distributional distributional uncertainty so distributional uncertainty due to random distribution of microorganisms in the test sample even for homogeneous material technical uncertainty matrix uncertainty and distributional uncertainty will be combined together to get the overall uncertainty at the end and technical uncertainty considered to be the highest value between all of these types of uncertainty because it comes from a reproducibility you will get standard deviation of reproducibility which include all sources of uncertainty during the whole measurement process and other two kinds matrix uncertainty or distributional uncertainty will be involved also during reproducibility so you can calculate measurement uncertainty based only on technical uncertainty and that was a fast overview about uncertainty components after that inshallah i will explain every type of these uncertainty components in details thank you and see you in the next lecture